Hello, hello, I'm Christy Cascholo with the Global Keto Connection and tonight, Saturday Night Bites, we are making uh, keto bagel bites. How fun is that? So they're super easy and um, don't take very long to make at all. So first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees and we are gonna mix everything together. Uh, it's fairly simple, uh, you're gonna use a mini uh, silicone or if you have a metal pan that's fine too like a little donut pan and these don't rise so each one is gonna be our bagel bite so we don't have to slice them or anything so first thing you're gonna do is you're going to spray your pan and now once that's sprayed we're gonna throw all the ingredients together it's super simple First thing we're gonna have is a cup of shredded cheddar. I like to use the Mexican blend cheese, so you can use that. And you're gonna put that in there. And now you wanna dust it with your dry ingredients. So this one we're doing with coconut flour. So it's a quarter cup of coconut flour. If you want to use almond flour, that would be uh, one cup almond flour. And we have a teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of baking powder. So we're going to put that in there. And then you're just going to mix that up real good. And each one of these comes out to be about two carbs each, dependent on your... Um, sauce that you put on top and uh, your flour. Okay, now we're going to add one egg. And mix that all up. A nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about melting anything. Um, it's just you know, put your ingredients in there and give them a nice stir. And then we're gonna plop them right into the mold. Just wanna make sure that everything is nice and mixed and mixed well. Now you can choose to put Italian seasoning in here as well. I've decided that I am going to sprinkle my Italian seasoning on top with the, um, on top of the sauce. So before I add my uh, cheese and my bacon crumble, I made bacon crumble, so it's gonna be ready to go. Okay. So now that we have this all nice and stirred up, I'm gonna use a cookie scoop. And get a nice scoop and put it right on top. And it's gonna be a little messy and that's okay. We're just gonna put a scoop on each one first and then we will go back and press it all in. So the ingredients to make all of this uh, was the cup of shredded cheddar cheese, the teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of baking powder, quarter cup of coconut flour, and then our egg. Super simple. We're just filling all these wells. And I'm gonna have eight of these. If you have any questions um, on this recipe or any recipes that I do, uh, 
make sure to post your questions in the comments and I will um, absolutely answer all your questions and get back to you. So now that we have all of our cheese in the wells, we're just gonna press it down in and probably press it with the back of our cookie scoop. Or you can just use your fingers, it's whatever you want. I mean, if you're, if you're making these to take to a party, then maybe you wanna use the spoon. But if you're just making them for yourself to have at home, then um, you know you can use your fingers. I'm not making these for anybody except me and the hubby. So we're gonna press these down. So your oven should be preheated to 400 degrees, and these are going to bake for um, 15. No, excuse me. These are gonna bake for. 10 minutes and then you're going to um, broil for another one to two minutes but keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn but it helps to make the tops a little extra and crispy okay so we're all pushed in and you know don't worry about like having it go around and that little middle part sticking out because with bagel bites, you want a solid, like a little pizza, right? So you don't need to have that little well on there. Okay. I'm gonna put these on a pan so I can show you. This is basically what they're gonna look like. And then we're gonna put them in the oven 10 minutes to bake and one to two minutes to broil. And then when that's done, I will be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes uh, baking and then I did an extra one minute uh, broiling and you see they look nice and crispy on the top. So before you pop them out of here, you definitely wanna let them cool completely. Um, otherwise they could fall apart um, so we are going to let them sit and we are going to let them cool. And then once they are done, we will take them out and we'll start to add our toppings. So just a minute. Okay. So now that they are fully cooled, I took them out very carefully, put them on a pan. One of them has the hole in it. That's okay. It's no worries. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our teaspoon and our sauce and you can use rouse sauce i think that's the low carb one that's in the states and we're going to just add two teaspoons for each one you could have as as uh, much or as little sauce as you want so we're just going to put these on here real quick And again, these come out to about um, two carbs each, dependent upon your sauce and your flour that you used. These are super easy and super quick and really nice to have as a little snack or treat, appetizer, take to a party. So I'm gonna take some Italian seasoning and Sprinkle that on there a little bit. And then I'm gonna to top it with some mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. And you can top it with whatever cheese you want. And so then the final step is going to be to um, broil them for about five minutes. And that's gonna get your cheese nice and bubbly. So for these eight, this was a total of one cup of the mozzarella cheese that I just used up uh, and split up between them. Okay, and now I have my crumbled bacon, so I'm gonna add 
a little bit of that on each one. I cooked um, I cooked four slices of bacon for these eight mini bagel bites. And you can put any toppings that you want. Bagel bites make a great party food and a great snack. So here they are, we're gonna go and grill them for about five minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so five minutes broiling. That's what it looks like. It's really good. And so now the only thing that is left to do is to put them on a plate. A little soft. So we're going to scoop them up. And then they can finish cooling on the plate. So as you saw, this was super simple. I'm gonna post the recipe with the video. So don't worry, you guys will have the recipe and the video. Uh, it's also gonna be on our YouTube channel. So you can easily go to the YouTube channel and find the video along with all the other videos that we've posted there. It's probably the fastest way. Look at this, keto bagel bites. If you guys like this video, go ahead and share it out. Somebody you think might like bagel bites, try making them uh, for yourself, for your family, for your kids. Uh, take them to a party, they're really good. Uh, let us know what you think if you make them. Post a picture if you make them. Um, but yeah, they're really good. Uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow for Catherine's uh, Sunday Surprise Live that she'll be doing. And um, thank you very much. Bye.